So we can do first, right? What's up, everybody? This is Anime for Do. Now I'm Chef Twenty Four Seven. I'm Big Stay Win. And I know we've been in and out lately, but we've been on vacation and our friends got married. You'll be seeing more of that in our special food montage in our little travels. And of course, it's the holiday season, so we moved around a little bit. What's up guys? Chef247, Big Stay winning here. We got a special food montage. We're on vacation, um, doing some stuff for a friend's wedding. You know what I'm saying? So we are in Alabama and we are visiting the legendary Big Bob Gibson's Barbecue. Let's go. Anyway, we're back. We got some new episodes just for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's give the people what they want. In case y'all didn't know how this go, we keep it simple. We watch first two episodes of a fresh anime. You know what I'm saying? We go through our greatest system and we try to help you through our research to find out if this is the show for you. Right. Plus, there's food also. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Sweet. So let's talk about the ranking systems and then we're gonna go ahead to our anime of the day. So the ranking systems is simple. We do, we each get 25 points based on five in each category. We have five categories. And to make a long story short, we combine them together and if it's a 50 to 40, then it's a anime and chill. That means that's perfect. Go watch it, enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? If it's a, a 39 to 30, it's a a Vegeta Kakarot, damn it. If it's, you know what I'm saying, if it's 19, I mean, I'm sorry, I skipped. If it's 29 to 20, then you're not getting enough chocolate. You're just about to pass out. And if it's 19 to 10, you're getting stepped on by Titan. And of course, last but not least, if it's a 9 to a 0, then it's a Pokemon Bug Ketchup Battle. Did he appear this time? Yeah. Okay, okay. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and jump into the anime of today. Let's go. Okay, so the anime that we, we have watched for today's episode is Sailor Moon Crystal. And this is the reboot of Sailor Moon. Yes, yeah, so let's jump into the premise. Okay, so for the premise, uh, it was middle school students, uh, and the girl trying to be, basically find her way within her adolescence realm. And a lot of animes is about school or around school. And that is the constant theme. But I guess that's the time when you're really learning about yourself. So adolescence age is the best time. Um, but yeah, the, the show premise is about the girl. She's at school. She's a whiny butt. She's always whining. She's always whining about something. But you know, that's. Give or take the real essence of a adolescence girl. True, true. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, show premise. Um, pretty much covered it. Um, I pretty much have similar the same stuff. Um, she the girl you you say Yusagi Yusagi mm -hmm. I think it's the name. Um, AKA Sailor Moon 
Yeah, it's, yeah, typical teenage girl. She describes herself as. I'm a bit of a klutz, and honestly, kind of a crybaby too. <laughs> Sound like a chick who needs a study buddy. Right. <laughs> and so for that category, I give the show a three. I actually gave it a three too. That's interesting. A three. So that category gets an overall six. So oh show yeah. Proves, mm, it's kind of like eh. We it's don't find good. out. We don't find out. Anyway, you ready? It's time to jump into characters. <laughs> So I'm first. Oh, this is nice. Anyway, um, the character simply said Usagi is funny, clumsy, and she seems to care a lot. But you know what I'm saying? She she's overly emotional. But it's typical teenage girl. You know what you would think a teenage girl is. So they are true to a typical teenage girl life, crushes, boyfriends, so on and so on. And yeah, she cries a lot, but she is no Deku. She is no My Hero Academia Deku. It, she's emotional overboard, but just a little, just a little. Um, she meets a cat named Luna. Luna is, is one of the characters. Um, Luna helps her um, show her the power that makes her become Sailor Moon. Um, it's pretty much good. I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's been done before. Oh, they had the tuxedo mask guy. It's like this other hero who she supposedly like. Uh, it was it was straight. Um, I get oh my fault. Good time. All right, so for the character of Sailor Moon, uh, like I said before, she's whining. Uh, her brother and her mom are not really effing with the drama that she bring in. Um, what else? One of her homegirls, we realized her mama is an evil jeweler. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, like he said, her uh, Luna is a cat, and that's basically like her, her, her guardian and like guides her through the missions and stuff like that. Um, Overall, the characters are pretty good. It just doesn't give you that, mm -hmm, like, oh, I'm so excited about the characters. Like, it doesn't give you that, like, I can't wait to see what's going, going on. It's like, I'll put it on for background music, but it's not like, I just can't wait to see what's going on. Yeah, so what's your overall grade? Overall, I give that category of characters a three. I'll give it a three, too. So that's another six, 12 another so six. far. Yeah. <sighs> Anime world building. It's a school setting slash a home setting. Um, she just she just like learning her power. So it's a, like he said, she describes herself as very clumsy, and so the show basically um, show her clumsily living her life, going to school clumsily, learning her powers clumsily. Um, but we do realize that the thing that she hates, or the thing that a lot of people hates about her being clumsy and stuff like that, is one of the things that helps her. When she screamed, that kind of like um, gives a supersonic wave of sound off, and it kind of like uh, hurt her, her opponent in some sense. True, true. Um, as far as the anime world building, the world around the anime is fast paced. It is very fast paced. It goes like slap one second, she's saving somebody, she's just fall on the face. It just happens. Um, but the thing about it is colorful, it's bright, it's filled. With a lot of updated animation, um, and it's very easy on the eyes. And I kind of do like the fast-paced feel for this particular anime because it reminds me like it's a teenage life. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're a guy, girl, it's fast-paced. Everything is going on at an accelerated rate when you're a teenager. So it makes you feel like you're in the shoes of a teenage girl who got a lot of stuff going home and just so happened to be a superhero. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's your overall scope? Overall score for the anime world building category for me is a three. So okay, and I actually gave it a five. So yeah. that category gets an eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got to keep jumping. It's time to go to the fun fact through. Okay, so the fun factor slash rewrite uh, rewatch value section. So for me, um was it a fun fact that yes, it's also the nostalgia part of having uh, Sailor Moon, the original when I was younger. Would I rewatch? Yes, I rewatch it. But like I said, it's not a rewatch where, oh, I just want to know how this story ends. It's more of a background noise. I can put that on, have a couple of giggles, and see what's going on with Sailor Moon and her friends. Um, and the mood of the show is really like, it's kind of light. 
and it's 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 fun and airy for a teenage girl. So um, like I said, yes, a rewatch value is a, a good one for me, but it'll be more like background noise. Not that I have to finish the story. The mood and the feeling of the show for me was fun, um, especially the transformation sequence. You know, I, I I remember the old school Sailor Moon, but we're gonna get to that later. But I don't remember what happened. But the sequence was always something I remember. So the sequence was on par. Um, I'm on the fence as far as the rewatch, but I do find it enjoyable and entertaining. I just don't know how many more episodes I'll be interested in. And overall, the show definitely has. A good has an audience it definitely has an audience just maybe not a date night audience but the animation intro do slap so I'm gonna give it a 3.5 what you give it I give the fun factor a score of three a 6.5 final thoughts final thoughts final thoughts okay so the show Gives me, dare I say it, a He-Man and a Masters of the Universe vibe. Now, that itself would kind of make me want to kind of give a little hope for the extra shows. But, um, I feel like sometimes it loses focus. Uh, it's fast-paced vibe, but it does send you on a roller coaster life of a teenage girl. Which is pretty much what the artist wants. Um, I just wish it had more focus on the other characters. Because I felt like it was so focused on uh, um, Usage, or uh, AKA Sailor Moon character, that it kind of like just kind of skips over everybody else and just kind of make them like light brush characters, you know, characters that one dimensional. Um, I just hope that the future episodes are more superior. I may check in one or two in the future. What's your final thoughts? Okay, so I find that this show is relatable for my final thoughts. I do find that this show is relatable, especially me being a middle school teacher and I pinpoint some kids and how things happen um, with the students I work with so I can see some of those aspects being very truthful and as far as how life is fast pace and her having to deal with her emotions. Um, but my my overall grade for this is a, a, a three. I just feel like it's just it is missing something like it has a nostalgia factor so that's why i even want to check it out it's about females that's another reason to check it out but it's something missing i don't know if it's the fast pace on the um the secondary characters not having a grand role at least in the first two episodes but something doesn't click for me so again a three minute score i actually i felt like it could have gave me more but i gave it a four overall so total score for, for the first time ever, folks, is a 33.5. So that means it's a Vegeta. Ah, Kakarot, you imbecile. Anyway, <laughs> oh, man, that was fun. Our first Vegeta, man. I always, I did wait to do the Vegeta voice. Anyway, I was Chef 24 7. I'm Big Stay with And this is Anime for Dude. Dude. We'll catch y'all next week. Peace.